When pains associated with kidney stones attacked a Maikoni East Coast Amarara farmer, there was nothing he could do but gobble down pain medications or wait in agony until they subsided. This was the routine Christopher James was forced to become accustomed to since the age of 16. Then, on November 6, 36-year-old James suddenly began experiencing a different type of pain more blinding and intense. The severity of the pain increased and became sustained, and James immediately knew something was very wrong. Unable to bear the pain, the farmer visited the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation GBHC, where he learned that he had an aortic aneurysm. In Lehman's term, the aorta, the largest artery that carries blood from the heart, was swollen and could burst at any time. Describing it as one of the most painfully frightening experiences in his life, the same day he got the earth-shattering diagnosis, he had to be rushed to surgery. It's getting rushed to the theater. It's rupture. Um, I started to like panic. My body started to shut down. Not me panic, but my body started to shut down, take control, and I can't do anything else. And thank God for. The great doctors them. The ruptured part of his artery was replaced with a synthetic graft. Still recovering from the three and a half hour long surgery last Thursday, the 36 year old who was in high spirits said he is better than he has ever been. Now, given another chance at a normal life, James could only praise the GPHC doctors for saving his life. I was, I consider myself the most luckiest person in Guyana at the moment and those doctors are superheroes they are my superheroes james is one of the three patients that benefited from groundbreaking surgeries at the gphc one week ago Dr. Carlos Martin, a general and vascular surgeon and head of the transplant and vascular department, Dr. Kishur Prasad, were part of the skilled team that operated on James. With the survival rate of 35%, Dr. Martin said that every passing moment counted since it was a matter of life and death. Even if the patient arrives at the hospital alive, the mortality rate increases 1% every minute. So if you think 65% of those patients will die even before reaching the hospital, we're talking minutes now, tick, tick, tick. This was the first time an emergency surgery for a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm was ever facilitated at the hospital. I have never heard of an abdominal aortic aneurysm that was operated on, a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm that actually survived. So. Once he make it through this critical period, he will be history for our hospital. For the HGP Nightly News, I'm El Griffith.